everyone, and welcome to the next edition of News Bites with Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. I'm your host, Serena B., with your source of good news in the fight against hunger. Today, we're here at the Milwaukee campus with some very special guests, Packers Hall of Famer Mark Tauscher and his wife, Sarah. Welcome to the campus, guys. Thanks Thank for having you. us. And they're also our ambassadors for the Food for the Holidays campaign, which we're super excited about. So we're going to learn a little bit more about why they chose to get involved. So tell me a little bit about why you guys were inspired to become the food ambassadors. Yeah, I think, you know, for me, we grew up on a dairy farm and it was always so important to sit down after a long, hard day of work and we'd sit down and have kind of a family dinner. And now that the holidays are, are here, it's just something that it's important, I think, for families to be able to be able to sit down, share a meal, share memories and have that available to them. Both of your kids are very involved in the things that you guys do to give back to your community. What was one of the reasons that this resonated with your family? Uh, on a recent uh, trip to uh, a larger city, we were on uh, a walk after dinner and our son was starting to notice uh, individuals that were looking for uh, additional food and, and uh, some additional assistance. and and. While that sparked a discussion in our family and something that he became quite passionate about to try to understand how he could give back. And, and when we uh, were approached um, by Feeding America, it just was a natural fit, especially down around the holidays. It's a wonderful time to share a meal with the family and we wanna make sure everyone has an opportunity to do that. Absolutely, and you guys both grew up in rural Wisconsin and Mark, you actually grew up on a dairy farm. How does that experience play into your concern about food security? Like, what is it, your connection there? Yeah, I mean, uh, for my end, it's, we grew up and we, you know, had a lot of food. When you grew up on a farm, that's one thing you're not never lacking with, you know, when you have that access. And then as you get older and you move around and you see that that is not available to everybody, you want to be able to do your part. And obviously this, you know, Feeding America, the organization has been leading the way as far as helping people that don't have access to, to that. And to be able to partner with this organization and be able to, to go out, especially around the holidays and give and give that that feeling of family, that feeling of warmth that you can, that comes with having a meal. I think that's, a, it's an important thing to be able to offer and, and being able to partner with Feeding America has been, has been everything that we've hoped. Absolutely, and I want to switch gears a little bit because obviously you are a Green Bay Packer, Hall of Famer, <laughs> Super Bowl champ. I would love to hear about some of your fondest memories playing with both the Badgers and the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I mean, obviously for me, uh, you know, just playing sports and as a, you know, a young kid growing up in Wisconsin, you see teams playing in the Rose Bowl, you see Brett Favre, you see Fra you know, Frankie Winters, Reggie White, and growing up listening to, to the games, it was always wow, you know. Never, I've never gotten to Lambeau Field until I played. So that was, it was just always to be able to to go through that and play at Wisconsin, win a Rose Bowl, and then get drafted by the Green Bay Packers, and be able to play in front of family and friends here for the team that I grew up loving. Uh, it's just been a real dream come true. Fantastic. And one last question: What is your game day staples? Like, what is the food that you have to have during game day? So if it's warm. You know, you still, I still love nachos, and then you get a good chicken wing, I think is really tough to beat. But once it gets to be November, December, chili. All day chili with all the fixings, I think that is the, your staple for a good game, because it's easy, you don't have to have a bunch of people cooking, it's put it in a pot, and let it roll. And take advantage of those leftovers. <laughs> chili is definitely my fave. I just went grocery shopping today and got chili fixings, so <laughs> I perfect. definitely agree with that. If you want to get involved with our Food for the Holidays campaign, visit our website at feedingamericawi.org. Thank you for watching this edition of News Bites with Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin, and happy holidays.